Yeah, we expected it to be close, and it certainly was. It's the first over, four for no wicket, Reeve to Jaya Saria. He struck that one away, and that goes into the crowd there. <laughs> They're quite extraordinary, aren't they? Uh, they're only uh, quite small men, but wonderful timers this time. You know, you watch the, the wonderful power here timing, just flicked it over the top uh, of square leg. And uh, <laughs> once again, I think, Brian, I'm very, very grateful that no one's been killed in the crowd. And there we have the governor who's come, Chris Batten, especially to watch this final, give away the prizes at the end. Sitting, perhaps he doesn't know it, in quite a dangerous position. Um, his sixes come rather quickly into the crowd, but I'm sure he's got someone to look after him there. There's Gadsden Small from the club. Oh, well, <laughs> gone down there to long, long leg. Just got a nick on it. Four runs. He's not one of Gladys' better deliveries. Uh, just flicked away once again, and uh, the wicketkeeper Fairburn uh, really didn't have much chance and made more difficult by the fact that uh, he's not a regular keeper. But Gladstone Small, very, very popular player wherever he goes. He's standing as far back as he's allowed. He's only allowed uh, 30, uh, 25 metres, 28 yards. Can't go back any further than that. He's absolutely on the limit. And that's going to go oh. over mid-wicket, and it has gone for six. That was an extraordinary shot. That's a shot of an amazingly gifted and natural player. I've always thought of him as a slow left-arm bowler. Just a little short-arm jab. And that's well into the crowd. <laughs> so, a, a lovely six there. There's the little man, not very tall. He's hit that high up in the air, and it's going down the weak keeper, and Fairbrother catches it. So Gladson Small gets his wicket. Thirty one for one in this second over. I think the England team be very, very grateful for this one, uh, short of a length, and uh, the bats are not quite getting into position, and... Uh, Fair brother here, very, very calm in taking that. There we are. <laughs> Chuck away there to mid-wicket, only four there. That's Crafter there, the well-known Australian umpire. That's gone. Oh, and that's a very big one. It's going down there to mid-wicket. Three more balls from the Freitas, bowling to the silver. Not out seven. Oh, he gets his uh, two runs. He may get more. He will end up running around. Now watch out for his throw. He runs the people out to the fourth day. Uh, well, they run the three. I think that's about, from memory, the second three of the tournament. Yes, there haven't been many. It's been like the May have been the second three of the history of this tournament. So 54 for one with one over to go. That will be bowled by John Embry. Bowled so the hits this one away up towards the long run boundary and it goes there for a four one. That's gone away into the crowd there by the side screen. And he gets a six for that. And it's only getting a single there, I think. Yes. Smart bit of feeling by Graham Gooch. Running like a two-year-old. I don't suppose John Embry's ever seen a wee keeper stand as far back to him as that. Just imagine that happening at Lord's. Going right back. Because he is acting, in fact, as a third man in the fine leg. <laughs> That's to John Embry. I'm going to jog your memory a little bit, uh, Mr. Johnson. You have seen a wicketkeeper standing a lot further back than this. But that one's skied up in the air, but it's not going to fall right. It's coming just uh, 
to the left of third man. Which beekeeper was that? You might remember in the early days of Mike Brearley's captain, there was a great controversy at the Sydney Cricket Ground where Mr Brearley had every fieldsman on the boundary, including the wicket keeper. Uh, Absolutely right. And that uh, caused the rules to be totally changed. Absolutely right. There's Embry again. Hit up there to, in the long off direction, but just by the side screen, and it is six. So that is the end then of the innings for Sri Lanka. They haven't reached the 80s, which is a, a good score. At the moment, they go up now to 74 for one. This batter looks a little bit worried, but uh, it's a 15 runs and over with me, Bobby Simpson. And uh, if you were a betting man, I think six to four uh, England. But here's the first ball there, and that's a nice looking full pitch, nicely placed down there, and it goes for four, down to mid wicket. The silver, the bowler, fair brother, marvellous one day, he's an improviser, but absolutely amazing, he's been doing very well in this competition. Silver day is good. And he feels that ball in his course. So, perhaps I spoke too soon. Corton Bill there by the Silver, who looks quite happy about it. And fair by the I think they lost the wicket then. Yeah, Four a, for one, chasing this target of 75. That's a big breakthrough there. Very simple Corton Bowl. The Silver doing it a bit more flight this time. And uh, I think they're uh, fair brother trying to hit it over the top, but uh, straight back to the Silver and a double play in baseball parlance. Fairbrother so far has had a wonderful uh, series. Yeah, Fairbrother's done very well. He's got 89 runs in his uh, four innings, so that uh, done remarkably well, but he can't always succeed. Graham Gooch now will have a better chance. He's come in when there have been a lot of runs on the ball before. He can now uh, pace himself a little bit, although you can't pace yourself very much in this sort of cricket. Silver Bowl is his first ball in. And he struck that one well, but uh, he's straight to the fielder down there. Very sad. Yeah, just throwing that back. One run, and now we got the Freitas. And that's going to be caught, and no! There's a miss down there, down at long off. Gary Surya, a difficult one. I wouldn't have liked to have to try that one, but he gets away with it. Well, that's a great break, because he, uh, you know, is one of the better fieldsmen in international cricket. Superb first one. I think he's had trouble picking this one up. Misjudged it very, very badly. And when you look at his direct line, it's into some very, very dark trees on the other side of the ground. Next ball. And that one is properly struck. And that one has gone uh, right in the, into the crowd. Four six. So no mistake about that from traffic of pages. Just a real now to bowl from the club end to go. Oh, that one has just gone through the way keeper has to chase it down there like that and uh, stops it just short and there is a uh, boundary being signalled yeah, a little fortune all round there uh, for England a top edge which shouldn't carry uh, a rough bounce for the wicket keeper and uh, the net results of course four runs Tony with Arana the wicket keeper uh, and again it goes through and oh <laughs> dancing backwards and forwards <laughs> but he escapes <laughs> which is living a charmed life isn't I he? think the line of communications got a little mixed up here <laughs> Lancashire it's the north versus the south out there in the middle I think Brian yeah. well that's right but I think it's safe for him to hit sixes <laughs> they don't get into some money and he took that's me in my word that goes sailing into the club away to our left <laughs> 106 six hitting this competition so far. Well, that was a fine strike. That heavy bat of his. The ball. Well, he was down on the pitch then before, and the run out must be. The fate is his run out, and that's another blow for England. Couldn't make it at all, so they lost two wickets now. Target 75. 
England 28 for 2. Dermot Reed. Come on. Well, that's well placed. And it goes over the ropes for four. Found, found the gap on the leg side. That's good cricket. Uh, Dermot knows exactly where the gap is, and uh, that's the way to play it, even on the smaller ground. Pick up your fours, the odd one over the top. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful stroke. Now, that was one of the strokes of the whole lot. He waited for it and just sort of swept it round. Good for time. Oh, it's good. He, he hasn't uh, worried about the fact that they put three on the onside. There's still plenty of gaps out there, small ground, and uh, he, uh, he really has gone and uh, know, known exactly where the field is and uh, sorted it out. Give you some idea of the ground. As I said, it's about 50, 55 yards all, all around the boundary. No, oh, the reverse. I told you he was an improviser. <laughs> <laughs> Must see that one again. Absolute pass, as I said before, in one day cricket. This is the reverse sweep. He's watched the ball very closely and uh, he's got it from outside the leg uh, stump past second slip. One or two MCC members were having a stroke <laughs> and they watched that. And that's a lovely stroke. Now that is a perfect one. Two extra cover for four. Three fours for Dermot Reeves. Locals lapping it up here. Of course, Dermot being from Hong Kong, but I think we're seeing here just what a, a fine, innovative player is in this form of cricket and also, of course, in the one-day matches. Once again here, one good over in a five-over match is enough to win the game. Yeah, well, 32 runs needed off two overs. Sounds difficult in ordinary cricket. Not impossible here. And Leon Agee throws this one. Kip says one, it's not going to be six, but well, it went over the rope. I don't know if they cut that now. Uh, didn't go into the crowd, so it counts four. What a beautiful control shot there. Now, oh, what's Gucci going to do with this one? And he struck that by the way on the offside, and it's down for four runs down to deep cover. And that one again has gone over the ropes. That's the most remarkable one over backward point. <laughs> 176 is it now, but that was a remarkable one and very much badly needed by England. But it was a productive over. And he's hit that one down there and he's going to be caught an extra cover. England have now lost two wickets. the pitch he goes and that one has gone down into the crowd at the far end and it's totally just bouncing over so it's only four he has to retire uh, this is a, <laughs> but he can come back yeah, it's a marvelous tournament this, this retiring at 31 has got a lot going for it because suddenly you know with Dermot there there's no chance in the world that uh, England could lose but a new batsman comes in uh, two balls to go two runs needed well, that's all right. That's a good one, and it's going through. And suddenly they'll run two, and England have a one. Yes, good victory for England. Uh, they always look to be the, the team most likely, and uh, it, you know it's it's great to see the enthusiasm here. The Union Jacks flying in many places. A wonderfully dramatic finale, and it remained only for Hong Kong Governor Chris Patton to hand over the Sixes Trophy to England captain Graham Gooch, with a smiling Hatim Ebrahim, the president of the Hong Kong Cricket Association, looking on. As for player of the tournaments, there were several contenders, but in the end it came down to a marvellous series of performances by Philip de Freitas. In four overs, he conceded only 28 runs and took two wickets and scored 86 runs. A truly superb exhibition. Player of the final was Dermot Reeve. So an appropriately dramatic end to the Cathay Pacific War Foldings International Sixes here in Hong Kong. England take the trophy, Phil de Freitas takes man of the tournament. There were 107 sixes scored, innumerable fours, and even a couple of threes as well. But most importantly, it provided marvellous entertainment for the crowd here in Hong Kong. Six aside.
in this wicket. Weather conditions still uh, windy, less uh, gusty than yesterday. We've got uh, no sand suspension or uh, we have